you don't feel uh, like a stranger in this country when you see that other people have a good heart. Elaine Koger and Hannah Salih met in 2010. We go to each other's houses, we spend time outside of these events and just have an amazing friendship. It's wonderful. These friends are part of two faith communities determined to build bridges between Christians and Muslims. Members of Heartsong United Methodist Church in Memphis, Tennessee, admit that when word got out that a mosque might be built next door, the initial reaction was fear. Wow, that kind of made my stomach tighten up a little bit because I didn't know any Muslims. We could either be against them, we could be indifferent and cold to them, or we could welcome them to the neighborhood. Didn't want to do it at all. As a matter of fact, I was thinking seriously about leaving the church. Former Heart Song pastor, the Reverend Steve Stone, says the story of the Good Samaritan helped the congregation cross the road. Within about two days, we put up a sign that said, Heart Song welcomes the Memphis Islamic Center to the neighborhood. They were bringing an imam, and as they were driving down the road, they saw the sign, they stopped. They were blown away with the fact that we were welcoming them. While the mosque was under construction, Heartsong opened as a place for daily prayers during the month of Ramadan. Inviting the Muslim congregation into this hall right here to pray Ramadan. And at the end of it, their resident scholar called me up in front of everybody and said to, to the Muslim congregation, this is what a Jesus follower is. This is a Christian. I know you've heard bad things about Christians. At the end of that night, we all cried because we had really built some great bonds. Our churches just wanted to do things together. We started doing the Thanksgiving dinners every year. We wanted to do more things together to help the community. In Arabic, we say if we share a, share a bread with each other, he, uh, like this friend become your brother. That's it, like sharing a bread, this is my brother. Heartsong United Methodist and the Memphis Islamic Center get together for picnics and host a blood drive every year on 9-11. In 2017, Reverend Stone and Dr. Bashar Shala were honored alongside Dan Rather and Harry Belafonte, receiving the Franklin D. Roosevelt Four Freedoms Award for freedom of worship. Great creator, holy God, we're so thankful that you bring us here together. Heartsong's congregation of 800 lost about 20 over the decision to welcome the mosque. But members say the choice helped this church family grow in love and in numbers. It deepens your own faith. You'll be asked, you know, what is it that you believe? I'm just very thankful that Pastor Steve Stone put that sign up and we got to be a part of this because love does win. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.